All right, it's Wednesday, August 14th. We're reading first book of, our second book of Kings, chapter 1 and 2 today. We'll start with prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Heal us, God. Guide us in life. Help us to be strong for tomorrow and evermore with your divine plan in our lives. In your name we pray, Amen. Chapter 1, second book of Kings. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab, and Ahaziah fell down from the balcony of his upper chamber in Samaria, and was injured so that he sent messengers and said to them, Go inquire of, ba of Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this injury. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say to them, Is it because there is no god? In Israel, that you are going to inquire of Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord, you shall not come down from the bed on which you are lying, but you shall surely die. And Elijah departed. And when the messengers returned to Ahaziah, he said to them, Why have you turned back? And they said to him, A man came up to meet us and said to us, Go turn again to the man who sent you and say to him, It is because... Is it because there is no God in Israel that you are sending to inquire of Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron? Therefore, thus says the Lord, you shall not come down from the bed on which you are lying, but you shall surely die. And he said to them, What manner of man was he who came up to meet you and told you these words? And they answered him, He was a hairy man and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said to them, Is it Elijah the Tishbite? Then he said to, then he sent to him a captain of fifty, with his fifty, and he went up to him, and he was sitting on top of a mountain, and he said to him, O prophet of God, the king says, Come down. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I am a prophet of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume you, and your fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Again he sent to him another captain of fifty with his fifty. And he spoke to him, saying, O prophet of God, thus says the king, come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said to him, If I am a prophet of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And he sent again to him the third time a captain of fifty and his fifty. And the captain of fifty went up and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said to him, O prophet of God, let my life and the lives of these fifty servants of yours who are standing before you be per precious in your sight. For behold, there came fire down from heaven and consumed the two captains of the former fifties with the, their fifty, with their fifties. Before, let now my life be precious in your sight. And the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him to the king. And he said to him, Thus says the Lord, Because you have sent messengers to inquire of Baalzebub, the god of Ekron, is it because there is no God in Israel to inquire for his word? Therefore you shall not come down from the bed on which you are lying, but you shall surely die. So he died according to the word of the Lord, which Elijah had spoken. And Joram, his brother, reigned in his stead in the second year of Joram, the son of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, because he had no son. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaziah and all that he did, and all which he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Chapter 2. And it came to pass, when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha had departed from Gilgal, and Elijah said to Elisha, Wait for me here, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said, As the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel, and the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take away your master from over you? And he said, Yes, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said to Elisha, Wait for me here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho, and the sons of the prophets who were in Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take away your master from over you? And, and he answered, Yes, I also knew, know it. Hold your peace. And, Elisha, and Elijah said to Elisha, Wait for me here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. 
and they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to watch from afar, and they and the two, and they too stood by the Jordan. And then Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and struck the waters of the Jordan, and they were divided half hither and half thither, so that they too crossed the crossed on dry ground. And when they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken away from you. And Elisha said, Let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. And he said, You have asked too much. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so to you. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and separated the two, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And, Ele and Elisha saw it, and he cried, saying, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes, and tore them in two pieces. Then he took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him, and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him, and struck the waters, and said, O Lord, the God of my Lord Elijah. And when he also had struck the waters of the Jordan, they parted half hither and half thither, and Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets who came to watch at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah rests in Elisha. And they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him. And they said to him, Behold, now there are with your servants fifty strong men. Let them go and seek your master, lest per adventure the spirit of the Lord has taken him up and cast upon him cast upon one of the mountains or into one of the valleys. And he said, you shall not send. And when they urged him till he was embarrassed, he said, send. So they sent, therefore, 50 men, and they sought him for three days, but found him not. And when they came back to him, while he tarried at Jericho, he said to them, did I not say to you, do not go? And the men of the city said to Elisha, Behold, the situation of the city is pleasant, as our Lord sees, but the water is bad and the ground is barren. And he said, Bring me a new curse and put salt in it. Uh, built, bring me a new cruise and put, a, and put salt in it. And they brought it to him. And he went forth to the spring of, the, of water and cast the salt in there and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed these waters, there shall not be be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed to this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he spoke. And he went up from thence to Bethel, and as he was going up along the way, there came forth little boys out of the city and mocked him, saying, Go up, you bald head, go up, you bald head. And he turned back and saw them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she, bear, she bears out of the forest and tore forty-two of the boys. And he went from thence to Mount Carmel, and from there he returned to Samaria. Chapter 3, Second Book of Kings. I'll begin that one tomorrow. And with that, we will close in prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God, for this day and light. In your name we pray, Amen. Peace. See you guys tomorrow.